There it is. There it is. All right. All right. And we are off. Ahoy there, YouTube. I'm back again today for another Kickstarter critique where I take a look at a different Kickstarter board game every time and give you my honest thoughts on how it's being ran. And today, I'm very excited to be checking out New York Pizza Delivery. Before we get into that, I do want to say thank you for taking the time out of your day to, uh, to watch my channel. I really do appreciate it. No matter how bad my day is going, I come downstairs, I work on Bowers Game Corner, it always gets me energized and excited, so thank you very much. And also, I'm giving away a free Kickstarter critique on Christmas. All you gotta do is look for my Twitter, at Bauer Game Corner, uh, and like the pinned post and follow me on Twitter. Uh, that's all you gotta do, and you can give it to a Kickstarter that you enjoy, that you want to see succeed. I don't know. New York Pizza Delivery it just launched, has $1,538 pledged, 11% funded in 28 days to go. 1-6 to six players, competitive co-op or solo uh that feels a bit redundant right there i i don't know if i'd keep the solo i feel like one to six players kind of tells us that but hey that might just be me also uh, i'm going to send this to the person who's running the kickstarter uh your board game geek page currently has not the picture of the box but actually just a blank picture right now so totally would put that picture of the box up because i see you have it uploaded up to board game geek <gasps> There's no video. Yeah, yeah. This is um, this is the issue that we ran into with Sea Rovers. I mean, and, and you could if, if you really Google it, and I think it might even be down in one of these three clickable links down below. Not having a video decreases your chances of success just exponentially, um, and it, it has been shown in all the categories across the board. You know, I would say there's very few must-have things in a Kickstarter, but having a video is about as close as it's going to get. Now, that being said, you've still gotten 10% uh, of your goal, 32 backers, $1,500. Let's do some math. We're looking at, uh, okay, 50 bucks, roundabout. Easy enough for the novice player, but with enough meat to keep the avid board gamer interested. New York Pizza Delivery, a game where you collect ingredients, build pizzerias, and deliver mouth-watering pizzas to the residents of Manhattan and New York City. A combination board game and card game, you will become a pizzeria chain owner aiming to deliver more pizzas and earn more money than your competitors. However, as you continue to grow, you start stretching yourself too thin and you attract the attention of the health inspector. Eventually, the health inspector has had enough and forces all pizzerias to close, at which time you and all your competitors tally up your em empire's wealth and the person with the most money is the winner. Okay, that sounds really interesting. I would be much more interested, just as a consumer, if that were given to me in like 15 seconds in a video, you know, um, because even if it's just, and I know people are like, well, I put all everything into the graphics and everything down here. It's just, it doesn't have to be impressive. Just set yourself up in front of your iPhone or your camera and say, Hey, my name's Greg. And this is my passion project. I love, all, you know, have the board games around you that you like to play so we can see, you know, it's not maybe just like Munchkin or Monopoly. It's like, it sounds like you actually know about board games. Show us that in that video. Tell us about the game. Tell us this is your passion project. I see it's your first created for heirlooms games. People love support passion projects and and you can do that in the video and, and i think that is totally I, I feel like a video is strongly recommended here mechanics multi-use cards are used to perform and complete actions during the game cards from your hand can provide ingredients to complete a pizza order or can act as money to purchase property or you can use cards to build and upgrade your pizzerias bingo this is good stuff but how many people are not even getting to this point you know, I say it every day. I wish they would, the Kickstarter would like release the information of the average time spent on a Kickstarter page because how many people just keep scrolling because they don't feel like reading? You know, it's been a long, hard day. It's Christmas stress. I really don't want to sit down and read. And because uh, this is all good. I love multi-use cards. Most board gamers, I would say, love multi-use cards. And it's not just double multi-use cards. It's triple multi-use cards. That's exciting. Like, that could immediately pique people's interest. And something like that immediately says to me, okay, um, all those worries that I might have had that this is going to be a little bit lighter than I was hoping it to be, like it's going to be some sort of mass market style game, those just flew out the window just from that one thing of you saying, hey, we got not dual use cards, triple use cards, buddy. Tableau. Oh, ooh, mm, mm, yes, yes, that word right there. That's like, you know what? I think that is the one magic word. So you can say, how hard a core of a gamer are you? What is a tableau? And if they know what a tableau is, like in the context of a board game, it's like, all right, you're cool. Like that, I feel like that's a good barometer. Players will place, oh, I need, I need to, I need to pause this. Uh, players will place cards. So I'm hoping, oh yeah. So quick update before we get back into this. Um, 
I'm hoping to get a better CPU or, or something like that, that that my brother-in-law will helpfully help me plug into my computer, which will make it so that this part of the video is a less, slightly less choppy. Uh, so bear with me on that. I'm hoping to look into that actually over the next few days. So, players will place cards in their tableau representing the pizzerias they have built. Additional cards can be added to a pizzeria, increasing its stash of permanent ingredients or discarded to increase a pizzeria's free delivery range. Okay, this all sounds really good. And I'm not going to keep reading, but this sounds great. Like, I'm convinced. I'm convinced that if everything else I see looks good here, like, this passes the sniff test. This looks like a hobby board game. It has hobby board game mechanisms. You know, I'm now excited about the game, potentially playing it solo, cooperative, competitive. I'm in. I'm sold. Let's open up the wallet. Pizza order system. Game play. What's inside the box? This is good. This is good. And honestly you know you know if you're if you're hitting me right off with all the reading you know i feel like this would be a good thing to start with get me excited let's look at all these components right here one to, you know but that's just, let me know in the comments do you think that would be a smart choice is to put that up there and then you know hit the reading one double-sided game double-sided game board great basic power cards pizzerias you got the player score trackers which hopefully that's one of your stretch goals to upgrade because i think if you could get any sort of any sort of pizza style delivery meeple that'd be cool i think that would just add immediately to the theme of the game six player score trackers 44 multi-use see this is great this is really good i like this a lot telling me a lot now one thing i also want to mention it's kind of one of those weird behind the scenes things uh that i've learned through doing a lot of tagging is i love the name of this game new york pizza delivery that is such a comp well not now with covid so much but the, oh, but it will be that is such a commonly searched phrase that how many people are just gonna be like oh there's a board game about this like just just the potential for you to even catch their eye with that. This name alone. I absolutely adore this name. I love the name of this game. I know that's kind of an odd one. So stretch goals. Great. I love it. 13,000. So they're kind of micro stretch goals. 1,250. That's great. I love seeing these. You're telling me what they are. Might make this pop a little bit more. Maybe a little bit. Maybe once they unlock their bright and colorful. I don't know. Mini expansion. 14 personal goal cards. That looks great. Yeah mini expansion 14 personal goal cards that looks great but that looks like one of those things where it just it it kind of feels like it should be in the game when i see a stretch goal i normally am like okay okay so it's like upgrade components but this is like oh yeah this is like an extra way to play the game either way it, once you get to that i think that's going to start really exciting people Thirteen thousand five hundred nine extra power cards excellent excellent player tableau mats heavy cardstock so this doesn't already exist in the game Ooh, i don't know about that i don't know about that that uh you know as a backer i'm kind of left wondering why isn't that already in there but then again i think it's really going to be all indicative on the price point on this one because if this is like looking at the 50 to 70 dollar range after shipping i think a lot of people are going to be out you know i think that i think i think oh i don't know let's see so yeah eight extra cheese cards cool free shipping wow uh i uh wow that's a good that's a, that's a, that's a, that's dangerous that is danger danger will robinson uh you you don't want too many people from like all different parts of the world to see that like assuming that's worldwide because that is oh okay uh too many expansions yeah, Josh, <laughs> Joshua knows what I'm talking about. Like, that could be... I shipped... I think I shipped... When I did my own board game, I did, I think, 500 copies of it. And I think I sh ended up shipping, like, eight or nine of them international. And most of them were to Canada, which was, like, 18, 20 bucks. But there was one that was, like, 40-something dollars. I'm pretty sure they were just, like, straight helicoptering it onto the top of a mountain and dropping it onto a goat's back and then taking the goat up to the top. I think that's how elaborate it is. So offering free shipping is... I, I don't know. And I hope they get more... You know, I, if it's U.S. shipping, then that's that's still... That's a lot. That's a lot, depending on the size of the game. All right, I gotta look at the price. I gotta look at the price. Retail brick and mortar pledge. That's not what you should really be starting with, I would not imagine. Because the overwhelming majority of people are not gonna be buying five copies of the game. Um, 
20 bucks 20 bucks or more so i would i would i would i would probably try and position that a little bit lower so then we go okay so here's the base game 40 dollars. you get one copy of the game includes all stretch goals 10 dollars shipping charge after project ends unless stretch goal eliminates shipping so 50 bucks that's right at the cap i said 30 to 50 oh let's take a look at it let's yeah if i'm paying 50 bucks for the game that's that's a that's a premium i feel like that's a premium point game for not being a minis game i feel like i should expect some really nice components at the 50 dollar price point especially considering in theory i'm get. i don't know why i did this uh, in theory would in fact imply the air quotes in theory i'm i should be getting a discount at least because that's just the way that kickstarter's kind of wrecked our brains to think so like mini expansion and especially the the tableau mats i i i oof. I don't know about that. That that's a hard that's kind of a hard sell, especially <laughs> and this is the honesty you get on Bowers Game Corner. I get the impression that a lot of this stuff is already in the game. It's already included in the prices. Like it 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 has to be, I think. Um I want to look and see if there's anything. I want to see if there's a disclaimer. So what is it? Okay, so it's a very clean page here. Yeah, this is super clean. So what I would do is I would totally just nobody's back this. Just change that to so it's anything above forty dollars. Like that's it. Just anything above forty dollars because you want the first one people to see is to be yeah the dollar one, which you know I, I feel like you always should have, uh, which people argue about that. Um, but definitely the main pledge that you expect to get it because there is only one pledge here there's no deluxe version there's no premium version there's no uh whale it's just buy this game a nice clean clear approach so i do like that and i think that's a very uh, effective way and i've seen kickstarters just absolutely explode doing that but everything around that what you're doing here i just i don't i don't feel like it's going to work with it other game modes new york pizza delivery can also be played in solo or co-op mode and I would, I would almost, I, I feel like a lot of people bury the solo play when they do these. I'm always down to back Kickstarter projects, but as soon as I go to check out and see the shipping costs, I bail. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it's only going to get worse. Oh, but, oh, anywho. Duh. Oh, man. The good old days. New York Pizza, solo or co-op mode. I, I, I feel like a lot of people bury the solo mode. I feel like the solo mode should be raised higher because there's a whole... Like, if you have a solid solo mode and it's, like, really solid, you love the solo mode, that's something you should be shouting about because there's a whole client... A whole group of people that if you market this as a solo game and it's, like, a good solo game, like, if you're not BSing them and they can tell you're... They can tell. Uh, they're... they're that's kind of like gives it the, the game the bulletproof armor. Where it's like, all right, 50 bucks is a bit high, but if it's got a great solo mode, you know there's so few games that really do great solo modes now i don't know if that's the case i don't know if that's the case with your game if it has a great solo mode i, I kind of want to read more about it sounds easy we'll strive to deliver a certain number of pizzas while also achieving a monetary goal it sounds easy except for the fact that the closer you get to the goal the faster you will need to deliver not only will your shady business practices attract the health inspector possibly into your game but you might just run out of pizza orders pizza orders keep coming even if you're not delivering and this is also what i'm talking about this is so much text like this is such an extreme amount of text i feel like you, you gotta have at least some videos intertwined in here give me a gameplay video you know uh, give me a uh, component like of the prototype you know like it looks like you have pro probably made a prototype of this yeah is that that's a that's an actual picture right let's zoom in on that i think that's a real picture because yeah that looks like a real table maybe i don't know yeah that's totally a real table you can see glare so this is an actual picture of the game i do believe yeah that so it's gonna get any closer no i want to get closer yeah, why, showcase this. Show this off. Show me a mock round. You know, make a video. Literally, just set up set up a, a, a six-player game and set up a solo game. I do that. Six-player game, a solo game. And post two different videos. And the first one is you taking each and every turn for each six-player game. And maybe, like, you do the exact thing you have here, except you have their name written on the piece of paper. And you say, oh, so now Sally would do this. Or, heck, if you want to go crazy, if you really want to do this big, uh, do an entire game just run through or you know you could have people play as well but 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 you could do this by yourself set the game out play through a whole round give people a real feel for how it's going to work and then do the same for a solo game 
So, so you play through the solo game because people will watch that. I tell you what, I do solo gameplay videos. They get watched and they get watched forever. Like my Catan Dice game. People are still watching that probably right stinking now. Uh, people like those videos because it, it teaches them how to play the game. And they can get a feel for if it's going to be a game for them. Because I, I know, after watching a solo gameplay of a game, I know that game's going to be for me. Like, lock, stock, and two smoke barrels. Uh, that's an expression people use. But let's check it out. Let's get out of here. $10 shipping. Is that everywhere? Is that everywhere in the world? That cannot be. That cannot be everywhere in the world. Only United States. Okay, okay. Cool, 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 cool. That... Well, I mean, it's not cool. It kind of stinks. And there you go. That's another huge red flag is, you know, if you're not from America, can you still get the game? Uh, yeah. Oh, and it's only for the lower 48 states. So, like, Alaska and Hawaii. Oh, take that. Ha! Ah! If you're from Alaska and Hawaii, I apologize. Uh, you can also play on your own time. There, There's a playable version for free on Tabletop. That's great. This is something I would have, I would also market higher as well. You know, and, and that's one of the ones I'm not quite sure on, like, how how much people use that. And I'd love to see Jamie Stegmeyer like, write up a whole piece about that. I would I would just slurp that up. That sort of information, that behind-the-scenes stuff. Tell your friends, this is Grassroots Kickstarter, so I need your help. We hit the Go18000 goal. Okay. So, I, I, I actually, you know, I normally am not trying to comment on, per se, the Kickstarter itself, but mostly, uh, or the game itself, but mostly the Kickstarter itself. Oh, there's the rules. Yeah, let me check out the rules real quick. Let's see oh no i don't want to sign into dropbox <laughs> i'm not doing that you're not getting me all right either way one update one comment let's see what the one comment is hi sounds Henry, but u.s shipping only no interest Ooh, a pity yes yes i agree tom so i think i don't necessarily know if, if the one u.s shipping is the kiss of death but it's definitely not helping but, but I also feel like some videos intertwined could be just massive and uh, maybe a little bit more of a spotlight on how the actual game plays in the form of a video or uh, or, or something like that. You know, but there, that was today's Kickstarter critique for New York Pizza Delivery. If you enjoy what I'm doing, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below. Also, if you want to support the channel and buy stuff on Amazon, click on this Amazon link down below. Go buy anything on Amazon and I get a couple pennies off of it. Like, if you spend five bucks, I get like three cents or something it's really cool uh 